Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Project. In this module, I want to show you how you can create or look at a heat map in Project. So first of all, I'm going to create a couple of tasks, or three tasks, task A, task B, task C, and then allocate some resources to that. So if I just say these, these are all two, and that one three day tasks, I'm not gonna link them together because I want them to be over allocated. Create three resources. Bill, Ben, and Bob. Not interested at this particular time about how much money they're on. Then I'm just going to allocate each one of those to a particular task. So Ben's on that one, Bill's on that one, and Bob's on that one. So at the moment, everything is okay. Nobody's doubled up. But now let's have a look at a different view. I want to look at resource usage view. So if I go to the resource tab, this is all the resource views, and I want um, usage, that one. So now you get the resource, in this case, Bill, Ben, and Bob, and then whatever tasks they're on. Now, on the right-hand side, you can see that I've got some extra fields. So normally, you would just have, i just take off that one, and then that one, and then that one. You might just have it like this, so you might have two fields showing. Now, if I just come across, so this is telling me what actually actual work has been allocated. And this is saying whether they're over allocated. So if I just delete that column, I just actually inserted that column. Just typed over allocated or O, and then it says yes or no. But the extra fields I want to put on this side, because this is where you need to be looking and managing the resources. If I just right click and have a look what I've got there. There's over allocation, so that produces a row for over allocation of which there aren't any at the moment. And you've got remaining availability, that's a good one. So you can see eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. Remaining availability, just move that one. Now, if the field that you want isn't in this list, you can click detail styles at the top, and then you've got these other ones. And for example, work availability you could have. And I'll just add that one across and then OK. And then that shows you that they're available for eight hours a day. This is based on whatever you've, whatever you've got in resource information. So if I double click on Bill, for example, go to change working time and work weeks and just say, for example, he doesn't work on Mondays, so I'm going to set that to a non-working day. Click OK, click OK, OK again. So every Monday, he's got no data because he's not allocated. Or he's got no, no um, availability and no remaining availability just for Mondays. The other guys have. Now let's go and put a spanner in the works and do some over allocations or mess this up a little bit so if I go back to the Gantt chart and put Bill on this second task third task task C so he's now over allocated on these two tasks so you've got so you can see if I go back into resource usage you now get some red indications coming on there so Bill is red so in my view, and I tell my classes, that if anything's red, you've got to sort it out. So what we've got here, we've got him doing 16 hours in one day. So over allocated by eight hours there. He's got no remaining availability. And initially he was available for eight. So you can see that's the case there. And that is also the case there. So really, you need to sort that out. You can either level the resources or you can add somebody else to do that task, create another resource and sort that out. So over a period of time, so if this is a longer task, if I go back in there and change that to say three weeks and that to four weeks, you're gonna have a similar sort of problem when you go back to resource usage. Now you've got lots of red indications, indications there saying that you are not doing great. So over allocated, yes, it says there, and this is what it, where it is over allocated. So it's 
eight hours every day doubled up basically so like I said that would now have to be sorted out now you can create a report and there are reports already generated I've modified the resource over allocated resource report if I go on to that so what I've done is just got rid of the other table there and you can see that this is now showing the resources over time so I've got this set to time at the top there if I go to a set to time and uh, the fields I'm showing is over allocation work and work availability so how long is he available and what work was planned and what over allocation is so according to the color code at the bottom there over allocation is the gray color so I'm going to click on that because I want that to be red so let's try and get that to be red so I double click on that and go to this little paint pot solid fill and it's picked up the red that's already there so over allocation for bill is red so this is only showing bill because bill is the only one that's over allocated at the moment on those tasks these two guys are not or these tasks are not so that's basically what you can do you can modify the reports and get it to show whatever you want but on the Gantt chart you've got two red men uh, this doesn't actually show you a lot of information you can't work out what, what the scores on the doors in terms of hours is looking at this maybe they're not working a full eight hours so if I split this screen if I go view and tick details I can put that resource usage at the bottom and move this up a little bit and then what this allows me to do is just click on individual tasks so everything on there is okay so Ben as a resource is okay is, is black all the way across now task B there's a lot of uh, over allocated tasks here so allocation so I could let's just change some of this if I put that down to four and four so that's now going to fix that because you can do that four 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 and this is what you'd have to do because sometimes people attach resources and leave everything as default which basically would allocate a person eight hours on a task let's go two and six just to be different let's go one and seven to be different again as long as it's within eight hours it's okay it's going to work and we'll go back to four and four okay still over allocated somewhere must be another week there is so we'll go one seven two six obviously these have got to be real figures i can't just type it in like that so it's still showing red somewhere so have a look can't see it there missed that one four so now he's okay not over allocated and now there is this one so it just it tells you there anyhow so it gives you a summary and you can just look at that now because i physically typed in the hours that this guy's going to do on this task what you've got in this in indicator column is a little graph which means it's been the work contour if i double click into it the work contour has been modified you've got lots of different work contours in there so you've got flat one which is the default and because i've changed it myself it's it's done that if i console that for a minute the same with this one if i double click it's been edited so that normally would just be on flat but there's lots of preset ones back loaded most work goes on at the end of the project front loaded vice versa two peaks maybe beginning and end and all these different options are known project management contours and what i mean by contour click ok to that is this what i've just done there four 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 all the way across and up and down a bit so for example a front loaded project work resource would have probably eight 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 and then dropping down to four four two two and then in the middle might be zero no no hours at all and then um, if it's double peak it might go up again at the end that's what that means and you can set that up when you're doing your planning phase of your project it's totally up to you if you want to go down to that detail 
I just want to show you how you can have a look at a, a heat map, a sort of heat map. It's not exactly coloured in like a heat map would be, but it's got the font colour changes that would indicate a similar sort of thing, and it allows you, this split screen would allow you to manage that problem. And if you really want to, when you go to other views, you can save this view and then add it, uh, click on it from the menu, however, you, however many times you want to get into it. But anyhow, I hope for, hopefully that video has been of use to you. Thank you for your time, and I'll catch you on the next one.